A long time ago, in a small mountain village, there lived a poor elderly couple. The couple had very little money, earning a living by making bamboo hats at home. Tomorrow was Oshogatsu, the start of a new year, and the couple wanted to sell as many hats as they could, so they could enjoy the correct New Year's meal. That meal was mochi. In order to make it every year, Obasan would send Oji-san out to get rice. Unfortunately, this year, they had no mochi, nor did they have any money to buy some. So the two decided to sell hats to make money. Oji-san carried the hats to the nearest town. He then set up a booth and called, Hats for sale! in the hopes of selling as many as he could. As the day wore on, Oji-san became sad. Not one person bought a hat. Finally, Oji-san gave up and decided to go home. It had been a long walk down for Oji-san, and an even longer day, but he was to return empty-handed. Dejected, he turned onto the mountain road and prepared to walk back. As if to add insult to injury, it began to snow heavily as Oji-san walked home. He was still a long way from home, and the snow quickly began to pile up. As he walked, he noticed six Jizo statues standing in the snow. Aren't you cold, Ojizo-san? asked Ojisan. But the Jizos said nothing. Ojisan felt bad for the Jizos. Please, use these hats, he said, placing his unsold hats on the Jizos' heads. One, two, three, four, five? There were only five hats. Not enough for all six, so one poor Jizo was left exposed to the cold. Oji-san knew what he had to do. This is an old hat, but please accept it, Oji-san said, taking his own hat off and placing it on the Jizo's head. When he returned home, he told Obasan about the Jizos. You did a good deed, Oji-san, she said. The two went to bed, already preparing to make something else for their New Year's dinner. Late that night, Oji-san heard someone's voice outside, calling, Oji-san, Oji-san. He opened the door and was surprised to see six Jizo standing there, and on the ground in front of them was a pile of New Year's mochi. The Jizo had brought it for them as a gift. Oji-san was amazed and ran inside to tell Oba-san. The sun rose the next morning, announcing the new year. Oji-san and Obasan were able to eat as much mochi as they wanted, all the while thanking the Jizo for their kindness. The two never forgot what happened that day, and they lived happily ever after.